they had four, uh, four carries that went uh, 10 or more yards. What were you saying uh, through some of these lanes that your offensive line was Um. I was just, I was smiling going through the whole lot. I was just like, oh my, I got all this space. I was just thinking of my next moves, really. It was nice. Nate, you guys haven't been really tested at all in the first two weeks. I mean, it wasn't really been a snap where a game was in doubt. What do you find out about your team in a game like this? Um, I feel like we already knew about each other, like, just – Going through the summer, through the fall with these guys, through the uh, spring, I just seen the different dog in everybody. Like, we, we got that dog as a team. So, it was just nice to see, like, nobody even flinched. Like, on the sideline, both sides just giving words of encouragement to each other. And it was, it was nice to see. I feel like it really uplifted the spirit, and we were able to get the job done because of that. Nate, a few minutes ago, Coach was here at the podium. He talked about how this was identified as I just smile at the moment. Like I know it's gonna be a big game. I know they're gonna they're gonna depend on me just like I depend on everybody else. So I just know I got to do my part and just get the job done on my on my end as well. It's one of the newer parts of this team. Just how important was it for this locker room to get the response it did today? It was very important because, like I said, we we've been through it and been through situations in spring, fall camp with each other. Like we already knew what we had, but to do it against another team and to go up against another team back against the wall and nobody flinch, that just shows like we we really bought in. Twenty-two carries for you, Nate. Just talk about getting into the flow of the game. Um, I really, I really didn't notice it until after the game, like just hearing it after. But during the game, it was just this play. Like I'm worried about this play, this play. Like I didn't even know like my stats or anything, but I knew like that we needed to win. I knew that we needed to finish the game. I just knew that we we're up. I mean, that we we're down at one point, and then now we're up. Now we need to keep the lead. How, how would you describe Luther Burton with the ball in his hands? Oh. Electrifying. That's just one word to describe it, electrifying. What do you see on that, that touchdown catch from I honestly thought the play was a little dead. Like, I thought it was over with, so I kind of looked over it, and I seen him burst through it, and, like, it was amazing to see. It was amazing to see. Oh yeah, definitely. We definitely took we definitely took that into account when we were uh, preparing and stuff like that. Just like we just aren't re respected enough. Like we still have something to prove, and that's how we need to work and show ourselves every every week. Nate, from an individual standpoint, what do you think you've developed and progressed the most this fall so far compared to last year at App State? Um. I think just around the coaches, I just became a better football, I mean, a smarter football player. They were able to help me with a lot more situations, and I was able to learn the game a little bit more, even though I thought I knew a lot about it, but I really didn't know anything for real before coming here. Well, on the sideline, we were just worried about each other. Like, we just have to have each other's back. Like, as long as everybody on that field knows that we can do this and we and we wouldn't flinch or anything at the situation, then it was just, it was good. It was so, words back and forth, I was basically saying we were just encouraging each other on offense and defense. What was your view of uh, Blake's long field goal there going into halftime? Oh, <laughs> oh, that was nice. It was amazing. I. Uh, I haven't really seen a field goal like that in a while. Like I just, I haven't seen a deep field goal for real in, in a little minute. So it was nice to see, especially going into the half to take take a little bit of momentum. Yeah, it was nice. What can you say about the team's ability to, to play complimentary football in this game? I mean, both sides kind of had their, their level and their struggles, but then in multiple occasions, each side had each other's back. Yeah, I mean, it's just the the chemistry that we 
that we built leading up to this, like all the months preparing before, like I knew that the defense was going to have our back and defense knew that we would have their back. Like off the touchdown coming off the field, we're uh, giving them words of encouragement. Like we got y'all, we about to go score, we about to go score. We didn't score that next drive, but the next drive after they scored again, we still was saying the same words. Like we got y'all, like we got each other back and everybody buying in, everybody believed each other. So I feel like that, that uh, was a big part. Yes, I feel like we have to uh, get back to our fundamentals and just do the simple things right. Just go back to the drawing board, see where we messed up, and just fix those in practice. I don't think it's really too many big errors, but definitely detailed mistakes. Hey, Coach described you as the hot hand earlier today. What does it mean to have a label like that by somebody, Coach? Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I definitely do. I mean, that's what I that's what I came here for. I came here to be a hot hand. I came here to, to just do what I can do to help the team. But also, I feel like all the running backs, we all have our roles. Like, if I'm the hot hand, this, this guy's a hot hand, too, in his way. And he's also a hot hand. And I just feel like all us coming together is, like, the biggest hot hand, for real. <laughs> hey, can you talk about where your relationship with Coach Drinkwist uh, stems from? Was it back when he was at it actually wasn't from uh, when he was at App State. We didn't talk when he was at App State. I mean, obviously, I knew about him because of the class before. We'd just talk about him all the time, especially all my four years. Like, I always hear about drinkers, but I never really met him until I got in the portal. And then I got to speaking with him and Coach Luper, and it was just like I was bought in. I was bought in. Him, Coach Kirby Moore, Coach Loop, everybody was just genuine. So I just I was bought in. Hey, Brady Cook uh, on that rushing touchdown broke a guy's ankles. What, what was your perception of that? <laughs> Dude, I was I was shocked. Like, I was just on the field like, whoa. Like, I didn't I didn't think he had it in him. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't think he had that in him. That was nice. That was a nice move right there. I was amazed. All right. Thank you, Nate. Thank yes, sir. Thank you.